So, um, we're back. Although I haven't been able uh, to shoot a video, well, I've been able to, but just go inside and explain this. And the reason for all that was I didn't have Final Cut forever, and I just got it like probably four months ago. I, know, I just didn't know what to shoot at all, but uh, I think finally I'm gonna do one that's pretty long overdue, and that is. Daddy, I got a new torch. If you can stick it around with me for a minute, I wasted the Carlisle CC. And now I got a GTT Delta Elite. Oh, yeah. Elite. Elite. Just switching from that, it's been probably maybe six months now since I've had that versus the Carlisle. And I had a video before on this, but that was like the first week I got it running and shit. Now I can actually explain like the differences between a Carlisle and a GTT because there is. Pretty good amount. And the most of them is the heating or whatever, obviously. It's way bigger of a torch. I'll get into that in a little bit. I don't know. If I could, here's the start to it. So this off rip is the biggest pain in the ass. <laughs> and it uses so much oxygen. I'm used to the K tanks, they're called. So these hold about, what is it, 25? These hold like 2,500 PSI. I could blow through one of those and depending on what you're doing, it just Clear, making like a recycler or whatever. I'll keep both of those in about two days. Three days if I'm lucky. So I can get pretty much two pieces done on one tank, which pretty much sucks because uh, the Carlisle before, kind of getting into this before I thought it was, the Carlisle I would work for a, a week would last me on the Carlisle. Fucking chair. One of these on the Carlisle I would get through one a week and I would make probably three or four pieces on one and now I can get two pieces done if I'm lucky. So that sucks. It eats a lot of oxygen, which is one of the main reasons that it eats a lot of oxygen. Flame is way bigger, as you can see here. Hopefully I got it and we'll look at it and look at it. Yeah, so I gotta figure out, I don't have the Carlisle anymore, so I gotta figure out to show you the flame on that, but here's a flame for the Carlisle. And then, hopefully I can make them side by side. And then once you see them side by side, you can really tell the difference. The Carlisle only has four knobs. GTT decided to add another set of knobs. So these are just normal, first stage, second stage. So these little blue guys, let me just turn on my torch. All right, so. I'll show you what those uh, blue knobs do. Or what I think they do. Alright, so right now you get your Lynx Flame, which is your first stage. Which I have just these two on. Alright, so whatever, you see that? So with this middle knob, watch when I crack it. See how it changes that flame? And that's just that little knob. But how I think it works is uh, it's got just the normal jets or whatever, and that little blue knob has another set of ports that make a change it or whatever they change the shape of it and the second stage that's just these two i'm gonna add the blue knob and watch how uh see how it's bushy right now watch when i add this blue knob how tight it'll get all right this is blue knob see that tightness now depending however much you do that, it can make it hotter of a flame or it can make it cooler of a flame. So that's the the knobs, how the knobs work or whatever. So that's why it uses way more oxygen than a uh, Carlisle. And the big thing about the, like why it uses more oxygen, what I figured out earlier, or recently, the Carlisle is made for scientific glass blowing. And that means it's made for clear glass. And the way that the Carlisle works, it's very, uh, it's just perfect for clear. It's got a soft flame. It melts things a lot slower than the GTT does. I don't know. I like the Carlisle flame more than this because this one's like more of a drilling soup. It just makes the shit get hot like instantly. And the Carlisle, I feel like it kind of like hugged the glass and got it like hot from the outer versus in. This thing gets that thing hot like that. So you gotta be careful. The heat bases are just very different. But I do like it now, even though I say all this, like, 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 uh, it might sound like I love the Carlisle a lot more, but I like the GTT, I think. It's got more options. I compare it to, like, a, an automatic car, like the Carlisle. It's got the, just the only four knobs, and you can't play with the flame, really. You just got one big flame, tight little skinny flame. And this, that thing is like a, it's like a manual car. Because you can get those knobs to fucking make it wide as hell after you get the second stage rolling. So you can get a, 
Just a good variety of flame. Then there's the obvious, like uh, the Carlisle. When you clean it, you'd smash it with a hammer. Not a hammer. You'd smash it with a wooden mallet, and you would, uh, like, that's how you get it clean. These, you cannot hit. You didn't know this. They're very fragile. So if you smack this thing, it'll dent it like a fucking soda can from what I've seen. Then it ruins your ports, and you gotta get a whole, uh, Sent off GT. So they're fragile, delicate, I don't know. I don't know, the differences are pretty much are, it's pretty simple. It's just the GT gets way hotter, uses way more oxygen. It's better for, I would say, color, and like milli and big stuff like that. I really don't need it, but it's kind of, it's nice to have it, but not have it. I definitely wish I still in my car though. I don't know, this video's kind of all over the place. <laughs> I just kind of had to make something to, uh, just had to make something to get back in the groove. It's pretty much, it's just oxygen and heat bases. If I was gonna do like a what's better on the scale thing, if you're doing just clear and you're working just regular functionals, nothing like big, crazy, like sculptural marbles or nothing like that, stick with the Carlisle. If you're going with, uh, if you're putting on millies, big like slugger pulls or big blowouts and sleeving and honestly you can do all that on the Carlisle too. But if you're just gonna do a bigger scale of work, GTT. Carlisle saves oxygen, which you pretty much just need to get liquid oxygen tank. The real way they get all around through all that. And the GTT uses all your oxygen. Carlisle saves, GTT wastes it. In a good way though, because that's a general display. The pinch that minute wraps it up. I, like I said, this video's all over the place, but I had to get back in the groove of just uploading something. And one of the main things about not uploading was I just couldn't think of fucking anything to upload. So, kind of a simple video. Hopefully you learned something. <laughs> if you had any questions, uh, put them in the comments. And also, give me what do you think I should do next for the video? Because I am pretty much out of ideas. I could like, I love, I could do how tos, I guess. But everyone just says make a recycler, make a recycler. Let's get a little more creative. <laughs> uh, put what you want in the comments. And thank you for watching. Probably Jack out, baby.